Artificial intelligence has come a long way since the early days of its invention. From the logic theorist program that mimicked human reasoning to today's cutting-edge AI technology like machine learning and natural language processing. The technology that powered Siri, Alexa, and the fascinating ChatGPT. But what if I told you that the future of AI holds even more exciting possibilities, yet at the same time, it is a bit scary? Welcome to our channel. Today, we will take you on a journey through the evolutionary stages of artificial intelligence, from its birth to where it stands today. We'll also venture into the exciting future that awaits AI in its next stages of evolution and what it means to us. The Origin The AI development has its period of up and down. From the early hype in the 1940s, it was followed by periods of stagnation and limited progress, known as winters. The last AI winters occurred in the 1990s and gradually ended in the early 2000s when interest and investment in AI began to pick up again, leading to the AI resurgence we see today. The recent AI re-emergence driven by several key factors. Machine learning, one of AI's core technologies, has advanced, equipping AI systems with greater sophistication and adaptability. Increased computing power, computers have evolved significantly, becoming faster and more capable, enabling them to handle more complex AI algorithms. Cloud computing, the rise of cloud computing has revolutionized data processing, allowing seamless sharing and pooling of data and processing resources globally. Big data, companies like Google and Amazon have amassed vast amounts of data, a vital resource for AI systems to learn and improve. There are also companies specialized in providing data for AI such as Appen and Cognizant. Investment surge, the enormous potential of AI has attracted significant investments from tech giants, corporations, and venture-funded startups. According to Statista, there are more than $90 billion is invested in AI every year and it keeps growing. All these factors have come together to take AI from just a concept on paper to real game-changing applications in sectors like healthcare, finance, transportation, and entertainment. As AI research keeps evolving at warp speed, it's becoming more likely that AI will level up to even more advanced forms. To get a clearer picture of where AI might be heading, a team at Fast Future, led by Rohit Talwar and Steve Wells, had studied AI development. They've mapped out seven stages of AI evolution to give us a glimpse of what's on the horizon. Let's break them down in detail. Stage 1, Rule-Based Systems At this earliest stage of AI systems, the systems operate on a set of predefined rules and logical principles. These systems are designed to follow instructions, make decisions, and perform tasks based on explicit instructions provided by human programmers. This early stage of AI is characterized by a few key attributes. First and foremost, these systems operate on explicit rules, essentially functioning on a set of if-then statements that dictate their actions. For instance, you might program a rule-based AI to respond with open the door when it detects movement. However, their adaptability is severely limited. Unlike later AI stages, they don't possess the capability to learn or adapt beyond their initial programming. This narrow focus makes them best suited for well-defined, specific problems, excelling in scenarios where decision-making processes are straightforward and rules can be precisely formulated. Also known as expert systems, these early forms of AI were formally introduced around 1965 by the Stanford Heuristic Programming Project led by Edward Feigenbaum. Among the projects is the Dendril system, which could analyze mass spectrometry data to identify organic compounds, and Mycin, designed for medical diagnosis and treatment suggestions. Rule-based systems are everywhere this day, from business software to autopilots. They're the most common AI you encounter. But they have limits. They can't handle complex, ever-changing data. The next stages of AI's evolution will address these limitations. Now, before we dive into the next stages, I'd like to remind you to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to stay updated on the latest developments in AI, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Stage 2, Context Awareness and Retention. In this stage, AI systems start showing some really interesting abilities. They don't just follow simple rules, they understand the whole situation during interactions, seeing the bigger picture. These systems can also learn from past interactions, usually with the help of machine learning. This learning makes them better over time, so they can provide more personalized and relevant responses. 
Consider the AI systems used in your daily lives, like Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa, they represent this stage of AI development. Platforms like Netflix, which utilize recommender systems, also fall into this type. These AI algorithms analyze your viewing history and interactions to recommend movies and TV shows tailored to your preferences. In the financial world, robo-advisors such as Wealthfront and Betterment use AI to improve investment strategies based on your financial situation, goals, and risk tolerance. And when it comes to language translation apps like Google Translate and DeepL, they're very good at understanding context. Instead of just translating word for word, they provide contextual translations that are more accurate, even when dealing with specialized terms or informal expressions. While this second stage of AI can understand context and remember past interactions, the next stage promises even greater potential. Stage 3, Domain-Specific Expertise. At this stage, AI systems start to show a profound understanding and expertise in particular areas. These systems can outperform humans because they have access to enormous amounts of data, allowing them to make decisions and provide insights that surpass human abilities in certain fields. A great example of this stage is Google DeepMind's AlphaGo. It was programmed to master the complex ancient Chinese game of Go, a game with more possible moves than there are atoms in the universe. AlphaGo learned by analyzing games in its database and from playing against itself. In March 2006 went to challenge the World Go champion Lee Seedall. In this historical event, AlphaGo was able to defeat the Grandmaster by four games to one. The next year, the new version, AlphaGo Zero took it to the next level. After just three days of self-training by analyzing thousands of Go games, it astonishingly beat the old AlphaGo by a sweeping margin of 100 wins to none. This capability serves as an example of what AI might become when it reaches human-like intelligence. However, it's essential to note that these systems are still limited to specific areas, and expanding their expertise to different fields would require significant retraining. Current AI development of what we are right now is in this third stage, and it's on a path toward the next stage. Stage 4, Reasoning Machines. In this stage, AI systems reach a point where they can understand what others may be thinking. This means they can attribute thoughts, intentions, and knowledge to themselves and others. This helps AI to think, negotiate, and interact with both humans and other machines. We can already see the early forms of this AI in action through language model AIs like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Bard. There's one notable language model created by Google called Lambda that caused some controversy. After many hours of talking with Lambda, Blake Lemoyne, a software engineer tasked to analyze the output of the model, claimed that Lambda's advanced reasoning ability made it seem almost like it had its own thoughts. However, this claim by Mr. Lemoyne is not widely accepted, but it does give us a glimpse of the potential of AI, which leads us to the next most exciting stage of AI development. Stage 5, Self-Aware AI or Artificial General Intelligence. This stage is a giant leap when compared to the stages before it. Here, AI systems reach a level of human intelligence. They can engage in deep abstract thinking, solve complex problems, and adapt to all sorts of new situations. What's really fascinating is that unlike the AI we've seen before, which is typically limited to one specific task or field, this self-aware AI is incredibly versatile. It can switch between different tasks and domains with ease. It's like having an all-purpose, highly intelligent assistant. And when you have a conversation with this type of AI, it feels like having a natural conversation with another human. But, is this kind of AI really could happen? The renowned cognitive psychologist Jerome S. Bruner think it can. I have little doubt that we'll be able to produce machines and computer programs that will behave in a fashion that we speak of as intelligent, that these will be of great aid to man in terms of relieving him of, of intellectual work that is not fit for human production. So two other renowned people in the industry like Jeffrey Hinton, Sam Altman, and Elon Musk. According to expert survey on AI progress conducted in 2022 involving 738 experts in the AI world, there's a 50 to 50 shot that self-aware AI could show up by 2059. Another survey, conducted by Nick Bostrom and Vincent Muller, involved 550 participants and asked the question of when self-aware AI is likely to happen. 90% of the participants think it will occur by 2075. At this stage, AI isn't just a tool for humans anymore. 
it has become sentient. It doesn't just follow our commands, it has become autonomous and independent. That's when the scary part comes in. You might have seen sci-fi movies like Terminator and iRobot, where AI tries to harm or even destroy humanity. That's what we're talking about here. It's a serious matter, and AI could become an existential threat for us. The thing is experts in the field have a history of making inaccurate predictions. A notable example is when Herbert A. Simon, an AI pioneer, predicted self-aware AI within 20 years, and he made this prediction in 1965. Look where we are now. Some AI experts including Andrew Ng and Yoshua Benjo think self-aware will remain a thing of sci-fi. However, if AGI really does happen, its natural evolution will be. Stage 6, Artificial Superintelligence, ASI. Unlike earlier stages where AI relied on human programming and intervention for improvements, at this stage AI gains the capacity to reflect on its own performance, identify areas for enhancement, and implement changes without human intervention. This is the apex of artificial intelligence, representing a level of intelligence that surpasses the combined cognitive abilities of all humans in every conceivable domain. The potential of ASI leads to both excitement and concern. Some believe it could help us solve our most challenging problems, such as climate change and medical breakthroughs. However, the rapid progress of ASI also raises existential risks. Many people has worried about this including Stephen Hawking. The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have, have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. While ASI forges its own path, other possibilities are worth considering. The final stage of AI could not only usher in the next phase of AI development but also potentially lead to profound changes in humans, possibly resulting in human evolution into a new species. Stage 7, Singularity and Transcendence. In this stage, artificial superintelligence takes a remarkable turn. Artificial superintelligence doesn't just stand as a pinnacle of machine intelligence, it becomes a bridge between humans and AI. At this point, ASI offers the potential for humans to merge with AI in unprecedented ways. Imagine a world where humans and machines merge, allowing us to enhance our cognitive abilities and physical capabilities, and even potentially extend our lifespans. This level of integration promises a profound evolution, where our biological limitations are transcended, and we become something more than what we are today. The lines between human and machine blur, and it opens the door to a new age. The age of singularity. The age of rapid advancement, where a decade's progress can be achieved in a mere month, and a year's progress can be attained in mere hours. This rapid advancement eventually enabled humans to become a type 1 civilization on the Kurdishev scale. At the present moment, AI development is still in its third stage of evolution, slowly progressing toward the fourth stage of reasoning machines. Beyond this stage lies a realm of speculation. Even experts can't all be trusted on this issue, and the future of AI will remain uncertain. So, what are your thoughts on AI evolution? Do you believe that self-aware AI is likely to emerge? What are your opinions on the singularity? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And while you're here, you can check out other videos on our channel. We have tons of AI-related content that might interest you. As always thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.